Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day and today looking forward to doing a review on this industrial endoscope. Very cool product and one that I think can really come in handy both on a professional level as well as for around the house or if you're working on your car. It's a very cool product. I'm going to put a link where you could get more information read reviews and of course order it. Appreciate you clicking on the link if you are interested and always appreciate a like if you find this videos of help and subscribing to my channel. Always looking to build up the subscriber base so thank you for that. Uh, this was uh, again sent to me to review and glad I connected with the company called OWIC. I never have heard of them before but nice product very easy to use. I'm going to demo showing you it, using it on my sync as uh, well as showing you all the features. Very, very simple, easy device to use. Uh, let me show you what comes with it. Uh, you've got obviously the instruction sheet. Uh, it's got all the information. It's very well laid out, but hopefully my video will be of help. You do have the adapter for the micro SD card in there and uh, it's right in there. It comes with an eight gigabyte micro SD card so you can just uh, plug that right into your computer, save the files on your computer, or what's very cool is you don't need your phone. It's got a 4.3 inch screen. You could take the photos and videos and replay them if you want to see them right in there. Or again, you can use the card, put it on your computer, send the file if you got it for your client if you need to, or just store it and save it for future reference. Uh, in addition, it does have these different uh, ends that you can put on if you need to. Uh, and attach these to the camera. So they've got a hook and a few other options. Uh, I didn't use them uh, during the demo. Uh, I just wanted to get a good basic idea of what it's like. Uh, and it's got a very bright light uh, uh, with the camera. Uh, the cable, by the way, it's 11 and a half feet long. So very long. And I also like that the cable is also very stiff and bendable so it doesn't collapse so that's also very key and uh, last but not least by the way what comes with it is this nice case uh, and it fits very well now you can uh, remove this from the device and then just plug this in like this and then you're good to go the last thing it does come with is the micro usb cable for charging there is a port on the bottom there and then you just plug that in and you can also put this wire in here. It's a really nice casing. Keep this in your toolkit and just like that. And you got the little handle. So nicely done there. Uh, it is a 2800 milliamp battery uh, and I just let it charge overnight. And so when I woke up the in the morning, it was good to go. And it says, it can constantly work up to three to four hours. Uh, I have used it for a bit now and it's maybe a quarter of the battery being used up and it's a very lightweight device. And this really can come in handy as I was looking at some other reviews, uh, saw uh, a video, somebody is in the auto industry and they want to show their client, they're not there, hey, look, you really do have this issue with uh, your engine, for example. So very cool product. So what I'm gonna share with you now is the demo of using it at the sink and then the features. Be sure to click on the link where, again, you could get the information, ask those questions and you know read the reviews and of course order it. And I will try and answer any questions you have. Simple device, it seems to work well. If you are using it, leave any comments below. And again, I'll try and answer any questions you have. So enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and demo here at the sink. So I've got the camera on, as you can see. And sometimes this sink drains slowly. So now I am going to aim perfectly. Now look at that. It gives me a great view of what is going on in there. You can see the piping is built up. It's pretty amazing how much builds up on piping. And now if I want to take a photo, I am going to move the arrow button all the way to the end one. On the left, I'm going to click the OK button. And then it just will tell you, take photo. So I took the photo. Now if I press the arrow button to the right, that's the video option. I'm going to click OK. And now on top, as you can see, the timer's on. And now it is recording video as I move it. And this is a great way, if you have a business, uh, you want to show your client what is going on, then you could show them that. To stop it, you click OK again. 
Now to see the different photos and videos you've taken, you press the arrow button again to the third icon and you click OK. So first it's going to show you the last thing that you took and that is the video file. I'm going to click OK and now it's going to replay that. And that same file you'll have access to on your computer. So you can do that. Again, this will be great for your client. If I click OK, stops it, and then this is the JPEG. And again, you have that available to get access to on your computer. There's no voice that is recorded, but this gives you a really good picture if you need to see what's going on uh, with what you want to take videos and photos, uh, close-ups uh, into piping, your car, and other places. So hopefully this will give you a pretty good idea of what it can do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get into the settings and what is available. So you're going to press the arrow button all the way to the right icon, click OK. And now you are able to see all the options. The top five are what you'll be able to change. So you can easily go up and down with the arrow button. When you find that section you want, you click OK to go into it. So here you got the resolution options. There's three options. So if I want to go to a lower resolution, I can click OK, and now it's at 1280 by 720, or I can adjust back. So that is resolution. Next up, you've got your LED mode where you can adjust the brightness, and you can do that. If you click OK, you're done there. It takes you, seems to take you back to the top, and then you just scroll down to the next one. USB is to access the USB card, which is right here on the bottom. And then of course you got your on and off and then your brightness levels there. All right, so we're gonna click back and now it's reconnecting. And now I'm gonna go back again into options and we next have zoom mode. So if you want to zoom in a little bit, you can zoom in. There you go, you can just zoom in or you could zoom out. Then you click okay. Last one is rotate mode. And to rotate, go upside down, you can click the arrow buttons to go back up or down. It looks like you actually can do it four different ways and by pressing the arrows. Okay, so that is back to normal. So you could use the arrows and move it four different directions. I'm gonna click okay. And the last one is language, which here is English plus three other languages and when you pick the language, you click OK, and you're good to go. So that's pretty much all the different setting options that are within the device.